sponsored by Progressive Insurance. I'm Tammy McCormick. The Democratic Convention now history. The presidential campaigns are back on the road this week. Donald Trump started off the day at Arlington National Cemetery. Oh! He laid wreaths for the 13 American service members who died in an attack during the withdrawal from Afghanistan. He also was to meet with some of the families. Vice President Kamala Harris will campaign later this week in Georgia. Correspondent Bob Costa reports her war chest is growing. The Harris Walls campaign is raising a lot of money, more than half a billion dollars since the campaign was launched a little over a month ago. That is going to provide a foundation for her when it comes to advertising ground operations in the swing states. And there's some question about whether an upcoming debate on ABC will happen. Olivia Rinaldi is a campaign reporter. We learned this this morning that there's a bit of a snafu on why they haven't fully agreed to the debate and it's because we're learning that Vice President Kamala Harris's campaign has said they want to keep the mics hot the entire time. Now this is really interesting because before it was former President Donald Trump that wanted to keep the mics hot during his debate in June with President Biden. It was a tense weekend in the Middle East. Israel and Hezbollah exchanged heavy fire and Nancy Cordes has more of a U.S. participation. The U.S. official confirms the U.S. did not participate in Israel's preemptive strike, though the U.S. did provide some intelligence and reconnaissance support to Israel by tracking the incoming missiles that were launched by Hezbollah from Lebanon. Both Israel and Hezbollah have pulled back now, but Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu says this is not the end of the story. A new study in the Journal of the American Medical Association finds there were more than 21,000 heat-related deaths in this country between 1999 and 2023. Study author Jeff Howard says the numbers are rising fast. A disproportionate number of these deaths are happening in four states, California, Arizona, Nevada, and Texas. Even though we looked at this nationally, it's certainly concentrated in certain areas that have higher risk. Last week, a federal judge threw out May Major felony charges against two former Louisville officers in the shooting death of Breonna Taylor, CBS's Jerika Duncan. In a statement to CBS News, an attorney for Breonna Taylor's family said, quote, we are devastated at the moment by the judge's ruling and are just trying to process everything. The judge threw out the charges. The officers falsified a warrant. He declared actions by Taylor's boyfriend were the cause of her death. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that. Hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 62 degrees. In Danville, California.